okay let's talk about distance problem and problem solving so problem solving you know first thing you devise a plan carry out the plan and recheck recheck it right so that's always true now if i read the problem i will find out some information and i'm going to note it down at the same time i read it okay so let's actually read it and note it down the information is given here okay so First one I see Lisa and Lars. There is a two individual is running. Lisa and Lars. Let's name them actually. So this is going to be Lisa, okay? Lisa, and that is going to be Lars. All right. I to run a race, but Lisa can run 18 meter per second. 18 meter per second. So if it is distance, right? So distance is R T. So 18 times T. 18 T. You know, you can say like that that's the distance all is true right 18 t so it's what for whom lisa so i can say lisa is running 18 meter per second okay whereas Lars can run six meter per second so i can say six meter per second in this case i'm going to say 60 your six times t and t is we don't know actually first second is going to be changing so we don't want we don't want to just write down six meter we want to declare a variable we don't know how long well that is what is actually asking how long so that is what you know sometimes you can declare variable earlier or sometimes you declare at the end so that's absolutely fine here so you know the unknown no we don't know that so that is the t you can have m any letter is possible you can have okay that's variable is going to be fine now if I read, if Lars has 190 meter head start, so what does the head start mean here? Head start is basically anyone ahead of someone, anyone ahead of someone. So head start is basically ahead, ahead or have some advantage. So let's have, uh, give some example actually. Let's say I have two students in my class, right? And I, you know, my test is basically 30 minutes and I have like 20 questions. So I know one student is faster. She can actually finish it within 10 minutes. But another student will not be able to finish it in 30 minutes. So it's fair enough. I give the slower student extra advantage, some extra time, extra minute. So that's always true. Whoever is slow, you give some extra advantage. So in this case, Lars is slower. She runs slow. So Lars should get that head start. So I want to actually put it down here. See? So Lars should get some head start, which is 190. And that is fixed. We know it's 190 meters, so it's fixed. I don't want to use meter here, okay? So it's fixed. Whereas 18 meter per second, we know per second how long we have no idea. Six meter per second, so we don't know how long. So therefore, I declare my variable here, my variable here, okay? Now we're going to read again. This is how long it will be before the faster runner catches the slower runner? In other words, how long in how many seconds or minute or, you know, in this case, of course, second or an hour, you know, depending on the question, Lisa is going to catch Lars. Okay. And also they said they start same time. So it seems like some equality is going on. So we can set this as an equation. Okay. So let's actually work it out how can we set an equation so we say lisa is equal to Lars. in other words lisa which is 18 t is equal to 6 t plus 190 so it seems like this is a linear equation once this is a linear equation we know we just solve it very quickly 6 negative 6 t or some student will you know skip that step you can say well that is going to be 12 t if 6 goes on the left side equal to 190 obviously you can skip always okay so and divide by 12 divide by 12 and t is going to give you approximately let's work it out here we're going to have t is equal to that is going to be exact exact is what 15 and 5 over 6 second or you can say t is approximately 15.8 second we're going to check the answer we're going to check the answer if it is right or wrong let's check it out here so with the calculator you want to check 
So 190 divided by 12. 190 divided by 12. Enter is going to give you 15.833. So that's why I put an exit approximation. And of course, you want to convert into an improper fraction, which is possible also 15 and 5, 6. So that works out very nice. Okay. So that is how you do this kind of problem. And as you have seen, it's not that complicated and it's not too much work. Okay. Let's have another one with a different way of writing. Okay. Different way of writing. So I have this one here. Let's assume you are walking while taking straight in the Fordham Road. A thief grabbed your cell phone and ran at 8 meters per second straight down Fordham Road. When he was 49, so well, two things is going on, right? So look at this here. A thief, okay? A thief, right? A thief. And what is going on? A thief and police officer. We just look into it, right? A thief grabbed a cell phone and ran 8 meters per second, okay, straight down the Fordham Road. Again, you know, this is 8 meters per second I put down here, but it can be 8, uh, you know, um, per, not per second, 8 meter per hour, something like that, okay, unit, 8 feet per meter per minute. So, it's basically a uh, unit. So, I'm going to just keep it, uh, you know, I'm going to just keep it here as a second. Straight down Fordham Road when he was 49 meters ra ra down, the street police officer took after him from the crime spot. The officer ran at 15 meters per second. How long will it take? How long? Here you go. It's almost similar stuff, guys. So let's take a look here. This one is okay. So this one is best. I want to say thief. thief and this one is going to be officer okay so thief here you go thief is going 8 meter per second so I'm going to say 8 X in this case different variable okay and clearly you see police officer is running 15 meter per second 15 x i'm going to say instead of per second we don't know how long but i'm say 15 x now who has the advantage who is running slower here seems like thief is going slow he didn't realize that police officer is coming right so he should get some advantage as say when he was who when the thief was 49 meters down so 49 meters down okay that is fixed that one is fixed is 49 meter okay so once we can actually devise a plan now we're going to carry out the plan okay so well what is the plan how do we carry this out we just set as an equation actually let's take a look here so it's a 15x equal to 8x plus 49 then we subtract 8x well you know you can always keep this step I know so many of you will watch this video so that's why I actually you know do step by step so it's going to be 7x equal to 49 divide by 7 divide by 7 and x is exactly 7 second and of course I mentioned earlier the unit can be different I just kept the unit here as it is so that is my answer is exact okay thank you very much i hope you like understand this thank you